Okay, so aside from using the Pythagorean theorem with right triangles, we also get two types of special right triangles. One is called a 45-45-90 right triangle. And essentially, this is an isosceles right triangle. Two of the sides have the same length. Um, and I get two 45 degree angles. Okay, so the template that is used for this is that if I know that the length of this is x and the length of this is x, well, let's see. If I were to make the hypotenuse into c, and I have x squared plus x squared is equal to c squared, which means 2x squared is equal to c squared. If I take the square root of both sides, I get that c is equal to x times the square root of 2. So this is always going to be x times the square root of 2. So there's a couple things that are going on here. And we're going to look at how do you kind of work with this, okay? Um, if I were given a 45-45-90 right triangle, so let's make one go this way, just for good measure. So, and I know that this is 3 and this is 3, then without doing anything else, I know that that's 3 radical 2, and I'm done. Um, now, the question becomes... What do I do if I know this side? And I know that this is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Well, the answer is pretty simple. You take that number, you divide it by 2, and you slap a radical 2 on it, which means this side is 4 over 2 times the square root of 2. Well, let's simplify that, right? Because that just becomes 2 radical 2. So that's 2 radical 2, because 4 divided by 2 is 2, and this is 2 radical 2. Okay, so you have two situations here. One is you're given the two congruent sides. If you know that, then you just put a radical 2 on it. The second situation is this guy, where I'm given the hypotenuse. And in that case, I divide by 2 and put a radical 2 on it. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Put a radical 2 on it, and that gives me those two sides. So that's how you work with 45, 45, 90 right triangles. All right, so our next move is going to be to look at the other special right triangle. Okay, the other special right triangle is what is called a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And this thing is essentially half of an equilateral triangle, okay? So this is a 60 degree angle. This is a 30 degree angle, right? This is X, so if it's half of an equilateral triangle, this side is gonna be two X. Now, let's kind of think about this. If I had X squared plus B squared is equal to two X, squared means x squared plus b squared is 4x squared. Subtract the x squareds from both sides. Oop, b squared. b squared is 3x squared. Take the square root of both sides. So that's just going to be x times the square root of 3. Okay, so this is a little bit different from the last one, but not that complicated. Okay, so this can give you three scenarios. One scenario is that you're given this side. Let's call that two. So this is the 60 degree angle. That's the 30 degree angle. And this one's 90. The second scenario here is that I'm given this side. So let's say that that's eight. In the third scenario that you can get here is that I'm given this side. Let's call that 9. Okay, so this is the easiest one. Um, if I know that that's 2, according to my diagram, take whatever that is and double it, 
I get that this has to be 4. And then take whatever that is and slap a radical 3 on it, which makes this 2 radical 3. And now I know all three sides of the triangle. Simple, straightforward, nothing too complicated there. Okay, here, slightly more complicated. Um, the 2x is 8 here, right? Which means I had to double something to get this. What did I have to double to get 8? Well, I had to double 4. Right? So that's 8, that has to be 4. Well, if that's 4, then I just put a radical 3 on it, and I end up over here. Okay, so this is the tricky one. This is like going backwards like in the other one. Um, here, this is supposed to be something times radical 3. So last time when I had this situation, I had something times radical 2, and I divided by 2 and then slapped the radical 2 on it. Now I'm going to divide this thing by 3 and slap a radical 3 on it. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then I put a radical 3 on it. That's it. That's the length of this. And how do I go from here to here? I double that. So if I have 3 radical 3, this becomes 6 radical 3. And these are the three scenarios that you can see when you have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. All right, so that's everything for that section. That's it for 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90. We call those special right triangles, and we'll go from there. Thank you.